what's up guys welcome to the video today we're gonna build a PC we're gonna take it from this to this building a PC can be intimidating but it's actually easier than you think you really just have to get your feet wet in this video we're gonna go through the step-by-step -step process of building a PC let's go So first we want to prep our case by removing all four side panels. This should help make this build much easier. Now let's get our motherboard, lift the retention arm, get the CPU, line up the triangles, and lock it in place. Next we'll remove the M.2 SSD heatsink. Grab our SSD and slot it in. You'll find a tiny screw for the SSD. Hold it down and screw it on. Remember to remove the thermal pad sticker before you screw the SSD heatsink back on. Let's grab our RAM sticks, line them up with the notch, and slot them in. Now let's place our motherboard in the case and screw it on. We'll grab the GPU riser cable and slot it in place. Next we'll attach the power supply on the case. Before we proceed, we'll take this time to connect as much cables as we can on the motherboard such as the fans, SSD, and the case panel I.O. Planning your cable routing will definitely help you avoid repeating the same step over. We'll also plug on the power supply cables and route them accordingly. Here we have a 2 slot 2.5 inch hard drive bay. Let's screw them on and mount them on the back side of the case and connect the SATA cable from the hard drive to the power supply. Now we move on to our all-in-one cooler. We start by removing the back plate holder and screw on the AMD AM4 mounting screws. Next we'll screw the fan onto the radiator And mount the radiator onto the case facing the power supply. Now we have to replace the mounting bracket from the stock Intel bracket to an AMD AM4 bracket. Be careful not to touch the thermal paste, otherwise you would need to replace it. Gently bend the tubes and mount the cooler onto the CPU with a pre-applied thermal paste. We will lock them in place using the spring-loaded locking screws. Lastly, we will now be mounting the GPU onto the built-in PCIe 3.0 riser cable mounted behind the mother port. We'll need to lock it in place with the included thumb screw. Now the build is complete, the question is, will it boot up? I did not have to reinstall Windows because I used the same SSD where I originally installed Windows on my previous build. By default, the PCIe settings on the motherboard is set to 4.0. This will prevent your computer from booting up. I had to go into the motherboard BIOS and set it to 3.0 before it finally booted up. We've finally built the computer, it's right there, and all that's left is to shoot a couple of um, 
B-rolls and clean this place up because obviously it's a mess. Let me show you. Okay, so as you can see here is my desk and you'll notice it's a mess. Here's the computer. There's a GPU right there. And on this side, we also have a lot of things scattered around and it's a mess, definitely a mess. And it's a lot of boxes, a lot of stuff. I have to shoot a couple of uh, B-rolls and shoot the rest of the video. So let me go ahead and do that and get back to you guys. last video we unboxed the PC parts featured on this video. I sold most of the PC parts to my friend Jerome, however I kept my CPU, GPU, RAM and SSD. So I kept most of the parts that's related to performance. I did a small comparison by simply recording an Apex Legends gameplay. I did a before and after. I was actually surprised with the additional performance I got. It's definitely a huge difference when it comes to cooling performance. I am very happy with this build. I really love this case. It not only looks good, but it also performs really well. Plus, my desk is no longer cramped. This is a small room. The little space I save really makes a lot of difference. On the next video, we're going to be covering my current desk setup. And if you don't want to miss that, you know what to do. And if you enjoyed this video and this build, because I sure did, share some love. Until next time, cheers.